Hi, super awesome that you're here. I, as a data engineer, built myself a new workstation. In case you follow my channel, you might ask, why did you build a new workstation if you have your big boy over there? So let's talk about that. So let's talk use cases for those two machines. So let's start with the uh, big boy over there. So the big boy is running Linux and is mainly used for yeah, my daily work at the office or for the client work. And also it's used for machine learning. That's also the reason why it has two 3090s in it and a quite powerful Threadripper CPU and also uh, yeah, lots of memory and so on. So that's like a very strong workstation. It's uh, running Linux because as I also stated in another video, development on Windows just plain sucks and I don't want to deal with that. So that's the reason why the workstation is uh, running Linux and nothing but Linux. So let's talk about the new workstation. Its use case is actually quite different from the one of the big boy over there. So first of all, that one will be running Windows. Why should it run Windows if I just said that Windows sucks pretty bad? Good question. Because that's not only used for development. So if I need uh, things like a proper development environment, I will use a VM on that one and that will provide everything that I need. The only shortcoming for VMs is that you cannot properly pass through the graphics cards and so you cannot really do um, yeah, machine learning stuff and so on. But that's also the reason why I have the other big boy over there. So yeah, it's not a biggie that I cannot do it uh, on this machine. So this machine is mainly used for Again, development, but running a virtual machine, but also for things like video editing, photo editing, and also since I play guitar, I will do audio recordings. And yeah, those softwares or those programs um, yeah, don't really work good on Linux. So that's why I'm sticking with Windows for that machine. And maybe, but just maybe, I will also try to play some video games on that. But to be honest, I yeah, don't really have much time for that. So the last video game that I played was actually Yato 3 for, I don't know, like some weeks. And the game before that was Counter-Strike Source. Ah! So not even global offense because I've never played that one. So I have no idea. Probably it's like, I don't know, like eight years or so that I uh, actually really played um, any games. Let's see whether I will find some time for playing some video games. So for the components, I try to be as state-of-the-art as possible. And let's start with the boring stuff and move on to the more fun stuff along the way. So let's start with the case. So the case is a Cooler Master NR200P. And I, yeah, I went with that case because it's um, super small. I wanted to have an ITX build because that will be staying in my working room at home and I don't really want it, the room to be super cluttered with a MIDI tower and something like that. And also I've never built in my life an ITX build. So that one was my very first one. So more reasons why I especially went with this case is because that case comes with an 280 millimeter um, all-in-one water cooling. Um, it's pre-installed as well as with a 850 watt power supply. So those two things are powerful enough to deal with the hardware that I'm going to put in there. Also, there are much smaller ITX cases, but I yeah, tried to find some compromise uh, because I will put some rather powerful components uh, into this workstation. And I was a bit concerned about the cooling so I've decided to go with a slightly bigger case, but with the possibility to get an 280 millimeter AIO in it instead of the usual 240 that you can find. Also in this case, there is room to put some additional fans, which I also did. So I actually replaced the uh, two stock fans that come with this case uh, with some Noctua fans. And I also mounted two additional low profile Noctua fans in the bottom of the case. So my idea behind that was that I wanted to have the bottom fans to suck fresh air in and then to have the upper fans exhaust the hot air. Yeah, and I hope that this will keep those rather powerful components nice and cool. So in terms of motherboard, 
yeah, there's not really that much to choose from in the ITX world. Um, I wanted one that has Wi-Fi on board because I don't want to deal with all this uh, dongle life. So I went with a mainboard from Asus because I kind of like that manufacturer more than others. So I tend to use um, components from, from that manufacturer. Since I will be running a 12th gen CPU, um, I needed a mainboard with the proper socket, which is the 1700 socket, as well as the capability to use DDR5 memory, since I will use DDR5 memory in this build. So for storage, I actually went with a um, uh, Samsung 980 Pro NVMe drive with a uh, two terabyte of capacity. Actually, I don't really care about um, yeah, the hard drives. They should do the job and shouldn't be too slow. So yeah, just read some reviews and yeah, just picked one that uh, had rather good reviews. So in terms of memory, as I said, I wanted to use DDR5 memory. Some of you might ask, so why spend the extra money? There isn't that much of a benefit for using DDR5 over DDR4. Uh, I hope that the software companies will um, optimize the software in the future for DDR5 so that yeah, there will be some actually more benefits than there are right now. And also it kind of hurts my brain to build a new workstation and uh, use kind of outdated technology. So if there is DDR5 available, then I want to use that. The CPU that I picked is an Intel i9-12900K. And as a wise man said, Power! And yeah, more power is more better. And yes, I know that this isn't a real word. So that CPU is powerful enough for running VMs, doing the video editing and doing basically everything that I need. It might even be maybe a bit overkill, but as I said, power! So yeah, let's go with that one. And also this is the first Intel uh, build that I do. So usually I'm an AMD boy. So the other workstation that this one is replacing is running a um, Gen 1 Threadripper, which is kind of dated right now. But yeah, I really wanted to check out Intel. And since I've heard many good things about the 12th gen CPUs, let's give it a try and let's go with the top of the line. Oh yeah, and by the way, it supports DDR5 which I wanted to use because of new and stuff. And the final thing, so the GPU. So what GPU is in this bad boy? It is a 3090 Founders Edition. And yes, it's a 3090 and yes, it might be a bit overkill, but that's the graphics card that I already had on hand because I just reused it from the old workstation that this one is replacing. I got that graphics card about two years ago uh, on launch and I was actually able to get it for the yeah, normal price without any scalpers, additional cost, whatever. So I got it for a decent price about two years ago and I will just reuse it because it's good and I have it and everything is fine. So if you made it this far into this video, Please consider going completely nuts on that like button and also go crazy on that subscribe button. And so far, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye bye.